Why hello everybody, welcome back to part two of my Geek Lairs room tour. The last episode I did a couple months back, I did my that stuff, I did these. I did this shelf, this shelf, and this shelf. Now for this episode I'm gonna do this shelf. And also in a little and also in, in a while I'm actually going to do another episode. Let me just get around here. I'm actually going to do... You know, I have a couple more games up there. So I'll do that and maybe show you what's all there. But anyway. Coming back here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Anyway. Let's say we get started on... And, and these are my Sony and Microsoft games. Like for my Xbox and my PlayStation platforms. So, let's get to it. Well, okay, here's my PlayStation, my PS, my PS2 stuff. And by the way, there are games behind those games, see? <laughs> but anyway, so I'll, I'll, I'll be as brief as I can. Let me see if... So I, I'm going to cover a little bit of everything. Okay, just got to... <laughs> there we go. So many games. Okay. As you know, here's you know Final Fantasy X, Ten Two, Vampire Knight, Vampire Knight. This is a really fun uh, light gun shooter. It's you know it's compatible with the gun cons. A little bit there. See, it's a fun game. Very fun. I don't know if I, you know I, I was not. And I'm a big fan of light gun shooters, so this is fun. So, you know, see the Xeno Saga, all three of the Xeno Sagas, and I hope hopefully these are all in the same. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, great. <laughs> Time Crisis, another good light gun shooter. Good old Katamari Damacy. Did a little. I did. A, I, 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 I reviewed that on my show a while ago. Beyond Good and Evil. I hear this is really. I hear this is a really fun game. Here it's getting a sequel, I think. So yeah. Onimusha, Lego Star Wars, some Street Street Fighter Alpha anthology. Fatal Fury, good, two good fighting compilations, some, some Street Fighter, more Street Fighter. Wow, it's kind of funny, I have all these all in a row, huh? That's kind of convenient. But yeah, all for, all for these are fun fighting comp, fighting game compilations. Uh, Dark Cloud, Got a War, Bully. Huh, Onimusha 2 is kind of... I, I should change that, so... Let's see this here. Make this look a little bit... There we go, that, 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 that... Is about there you go one two three anyway <laughs> there you go all three of them run this act that I kind of like why is that one really hack over there but anyway some Guitar Hero two Mega Man anniversary another Mega Man anniversary collection compilation Devil May Cry one one and three I, I think I have two as well I'm not too sure but yeah anyway and then then NCAA football sports. Anyway, I'll give it a second. I'm just gonna show you briefly what's I do have games behind these games, so I'll quickly show you what's behind those. Okay, this is just what's behind my this is what was behind that old stack of games. This particularly there, this one got award two. And actually this got award two actually I never opened because I thought I was gonna play it. But then shortly thereafter God of War 2, you know, the God of War collection came out for the PlayStation 3. So I, like, huh. So now I just leave this. Now I just leave this unopened. Just because I, I you know, maybe I'll open it, but I see no need to. Okay, some NHL 2001. Metal Slug Anthology. I have this for the Wii as well. I think I might have covered that in my last episode. And then Red Faction, Kingdom Hearts, the PS2 Odin Sphere, uh, I also have Lego Star Wars too, Lego Star Wars. Uh, uh, let's see. Wait, huh. Apparently, huh. Apparently, I think I, I, I have two. I have two Lego Star Wars games. 
fancy that. At least two of the LEGO one, because I do have LEGO Star Wars 2, but I didn't go over it because I just, yeah, I do have LEGO Star Wars 2 as well. But yeah, I feel like I have two LEGO, okay, I have two LEGO Star Wars, the LEGO Star Wars ones. Fancy that. Anywho, moving on, we got some football, some racers, more baseball, more baseball, two more time crosses, really fun, I really enjoy these, you know, really good. The, 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 the sad part is when I moved to this, to this new house, when I moved to this house, I did have, I did have the original big boxes for them, but sadly my space is very limited here, so I really couldn't keep them around. And it's like, yeah, I could have caved off them, but I didn't want to like add more stuff to it. And at the time, I didn't have the space I have now. I didn't have, I didn't give me this big space until much later, until a couple of days later, a couple of weeks later. So, yeah, it is what it is. I'm just happy I have at least the case, you know. But other than that, both of these had the manual. Everything else is complete. I got the manual, the game, and all that fun stuff. And then, moving on, there's Jack and Daxter, Gran Turismo. Actually, Gran, Gran Turismo 3 was my, was my very first PlayStation 2 game. Well, it was because it, it was a packing game, because when I bought my, my, my PS2, it came with Gran Turismo 3. So I didn't want to spend another 50 bucks or 60, 50 bucks on a game. Like, oh, I'll just get one free. Get, no, if not free, I mean get one packed in. So yeah. And then Spider-Man 2, Destroy All Humans, some SmackDown, Tony Hawk. Another, another Mega Man X collection, Capcom. I also have Mega Man X collection for the PS2. I have it for the GameCube as well. And then the two Capcom class collections. Really fun. Com com these, these are really fun compilations if you can find them. They're really, really, really good stuff. Really, really good stuff. Some Dragon, some Dragon Quest. Let's zoom in a little bit more here. Dragon Quest 8. Alien Hominid, another couple mission games, a, a demo disc, I guess, the Jam Pack, uh, Rebel Raider, I don't know, I know that. Uh, RPG Maker 2, wrapping up this list, we have some fighting games, uh, Soul Calibur, Tekken Take Tournament, and Tekken 4. Alright, let's move on, and then, and then, to wrap it, and then we have a couple more down on this shelf. We have some Rural Heroes Anthology, Max Payne, Another wrestling game, and then Final Fantasy 12. And I actually Final Fantasy 12 just got a re-release -re on the PS4, so that's kind of neat. And then Hokage Shadow King, and then some more Madden, some Grand Theft Autos, more Madden again, and some Final Fantasy 5. So by the way, these these Final Fantasy, I I think they're I got these specially made. These are special cases made because I think these Final Fantasy 5 and 6 are part of a compilation. But I guess at level up, somebody made custom custom cases for these. Custom cases for these, which are really, really cool. So yeah. And now, moving on to the PS1. We got, again, my PS1 collection is a lot smaller than my, it's a lot smaller than my other collections. Because, but anyway, here, here it is. I'll just go along quick. You, you know, we got, you know, here's some of those, some Chrono Cross, Final Fantasies, Symphony of the Night, uh, some racing games, some more Mega Man games, Twisted Metal, Metal of Honor Underground, and then moving along here, Grand Turismo 2, Final Fantasy, you know, this is Final Fantasy Chronicles with. Final Fantasy 4, Final Fantasy 4, and Chrono Trigger. And then, I'm just gonna go along the line here. Got Time Crisis, two more. Time Crisis games, so those are really fun. Okay, and then, you know, I think I mentioned, see, here's my PlayStation version of Star Wars Episode 1. Except, they can, except it's not, it's, 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 a, it's a lot more harder to me. And I think I'm happy for the Dreamcast version. They they tweaked a couple things. They made it much more funner and a little bit more. And they toned on the difficulty a bit, so like so like you can actually like you know play it. <laughs> and then by the way, this Xeno you know, gear is it's an empty case. I actually don't have a Josh gave me this this case, so there's nothing in it. 
which is like weird, but anyway. Tomb Raider, Hot Shots, and then there's the other Medal, the, the other Medal of Honor, and then the, the, the Mega Man Le 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 ah, sorry, Mega Man Legends games. Funny thing is about Mega Man Legends too. My friend just gave me this. I thought he was like, oh, I guess I have Mega Man Legends 2 now. And I think it's going for really good money too, actually. At least well, both of them are, but more Legends 2 than, than, than the first one. And then another that gun shooter there, Maximum Force, Oddworld, RPG Maker, Elemental. And then this is also, let me see, this is, I'm happy I got this too. This is Elemental Gear Bolt. Really fun light gun shooter. Again, this is, this, is, this is also going for really big money too, I guess. And I guess there's a contest back in the day where if you found these certain two chalices in the game, you get like, you can win prizes and stuff, including a really cool gold gun con. You know, not actual gold, but you know, an actual gold colored gun con. So, yeah. And I guess the case was called an assassin case, which, which held the gun con. So, yeah, good stuff. <clears throat> and then another Final Fantasy, uh, and then Final Fantasy 8 again, and another Final Fantasy there, and 8, you know, and 9 and 8. Some more Carl Combat, and some more Final Fantasy Tactics, and, and Mortal Kombat. Yeah, let's zoom this in a little bit. Some Mortal Kombat trilogy. Anyway, alright, moving on. Well, all right. Time to go to the now. Time to move on to my PS3 collection. Actually, I'll start here. These I do have. I don't. These don't. Actually, even though I have this for PS4, I don't have this. These are. These actually have. Give me a second here. This is actually for PS3. Same with that one. There's actually a PS3 disc in there. It's low as my friend Josh, so I can play it before I play the PS4. But anyway, this is, you know, again, I have the May Cry, the HD collection, and be jam on the PS3. Here's some Civilization, some Star Wars. Move that out of the way. Here's a, the, my limited edition of Kingdom Hearts 2.5. And then, here we go. Here's some. And this is the ultimate. This is the. Ultimate Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. Fun stuff. And then I'm just gonna go on the line here. Infamous, Dragon's Crown. Dragon's Crown, a really fun RPG brawler. 3D Dot Game Hero is another good one. Firing Simulator, a very oddly satisfying game. So, I mean, this is an oddly satisfying game. And then Diablo, Sonic Generations. Another couple of compilation of Jack and Daxter, Blaze Blue, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Mall vs. Capcom 3, Journey, Final Fantasy 13. Then we'll go back here, there's Injustice, Assassin's Creed, Thrash and Clank, Bioshock Infinite, Ultimate Alliance 2, Stick of Truth. Go on the lines and really get some some pretty decent stuff. The PS3 Skyrim, Android Arcade Origins, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, Rayman, let me see here, yeah, zoom in. Oh, and then House of Dead Overkill next to that. Rayman Origins, Bernal Paradise. And move the rest to the side. Some Fallout, Fallout New Vegas, Dynasty Warriors, it's more combat, the big planet. Yeah, and Dead Island. All right. Well, okay. Okay, what is going on here? Uh, all right. Sorry about that. I gotta. Okay. I had to sit down because now I have to, you know, now I'm like, see, I'm, see, now I'm sitting down. I have to sit down a little bit because now these, these last two are on the way behind them, so I can't really. So this will make it easier. 
Anyway, here's my X Factor 360 stuff. Some of these, some, some of these are just empty cases. So I'm just gonna go down the line. Some Fable, Fable 3. You see some Connect stuff, some Star Wars Connect there. There's, there's my, my, my X Factor 6 years of the Genesis collection. And then some Fallout there, Assassin's Creed there. The Orange Box, the first Bioshock, Bayonetta, Left 4 Dead, Eternal Sonata, Dead Rising. My Xbox version of Ultimate Alliance 2. See, so not not a whole. I don't. I kind of. I kind of slowed my Xbox collecting, just because I don't. I'm not a big Xbox player. I actually sold some stuff too, so I didn't. I really like. You know, I kind of focused on my PS3 stuff. And these are just some classic Xbox stuff. Oh, classic Xbox soft, huh? I wonder why that's out there. That should be going down there. This should be going down in this part. Huh. There we go. But there, that makes that makes it look a lot better than that. See? And Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters is a fun game too. I have it on the Wii. I think I like the Wii version as well. A little bit better because you can use like the motion so it actually feels like you're busting ghosts. Fun stuff. Then this is not bad, too happy to get this. I got, you know, and this has a couple cool, couple cool games, you know, of... I got this for only 20, less than 20 bucks. I just got that just so I have a physical copy of Super Speed Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put... Oh! Should I put these back? <laughs> Silly me, I kind of did that. Anyway, finally, for the, to wrap up this part of the the, the 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 tour, here's classic Xbox and PS4 stuff. Okay, gotta get in a better, good condition here. Okay, we have you know Knights of the Republic. This is a fun you know thing. This is Knights of the Republic. Fun stuff, fun Star Wars game. You probably heard stuff about it. Yeah, then back in the day, that's how much I paid for it. Huh. And then, this I got recently. This is the uh, Xbox. This is the, because when, when when Microsoft bought Rare, they put, I guess they ported over this game here. So this is basically, this is, back in the day, it was a multiplayer, but it came with a upgraded, the updated, remastered maybe, version of Congress Bad Fur Day for the N64. So yeah. Good stuff. Oh, perfect. Anyway, just going online. There's Knights of the Old. Uh, that far as far game is Knights of the Old Republic 2. And then this is WrestleMania 21, I think. I think this is. See, this is Knights of the Old Republic 2. It's a fun game. This is WrestleMania 21. Battlefront. And then that's an arcade compilation, Arcade Treasures 2, and this, I think this is Arcade, you don't see it, you don't see the number, but I think this is Arcade Treasures 3. Sorry about the lighting, I don't have my phone, I was, yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, and there's, I think this too is just an empty case, I believe. My friend gave me this just for some odd reason. And then there's Blinks, the Time Sweeper, fun platformer. The original Fable, The Last Chapters. And and there's some like Jade Empire, Doom, Star Wars, and a couple other. Panther Dragoon, Tecmo Classic Arcade, and oh look, another version, another Mega Man and anniversary collection. It's kind of funny, I think I have all three versions that came out. I have, the, I have a GameCube version, a PlayStation version, and an Xbox version. So, but I like Mega Man a lot, so that's cool. And then some Pentadragoon Orda, and then some X-Men Legends, and some Tech Ball Classic Arcade to round it out. Finally, on to the P here is my PS4 collection. I'm not gonna touch on this too much, on us go. You know, this is just some Dead Island, Injustice, some Assassin's Creed, and look, yet another Mega Man compilation. Fancy that! Yeah, I love me some Mega Man. 
some Horizon. I, I just recently finished Horizon Zero Dawn. That was a fantastic game. And then Wild Guns. I got I got Wild Guns because the Super Nintendo version is really expensive. So I decided to buy it. I bought the PS4 version just so I bought the PS4 version just so I could have a version of it. So and then No Man's Sky, which got a really which 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 was kind of under underwhelming, but it's not bad. I think they've made updated updates to it nowadays. So that's cool. And then here's the PS4 version of Odin Sphere. And they, and they did make it for the the PS3 as well. So that's cool. And some Infamous. I also have Infamous for the PS3. Didn't really touch on that, but I figured I better call out one, but I better give one Infamous game a shout out. And then the Dragon Quest Heroes, which is kind of like a Dynasty Warriors fun stuff. And then Last, the wrap to, to run it out, Street Fighter V. What, what, also, also known what I like to call as the awesome game that doesn't want you to play it. For those of you who play, who know, who those of you who play this game, you'll know what I'm talking about. But anyway, that pretty much wraps up part two of the room tour. Anyway, yeah, thank you know, and, uh, and I'll do probably part three later on. We'll see. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for another episode of Power Up.